Hi guys, welcome back. So here they tell me to factor and then they give me 2x squared plus 25x plus 50. Okay, so how do I do this? Now I'm going to do the bridge method. Anytime you have a number in the front of the x squared, you can do this. You can go ahead and multiply these two numbers, the 2 and the 50, and 2 times 50 is 100. Then from 100, you ask yourself, what are the factors of 100 or what numbers make up 100 that will give you 25? Well, let's see. I could do 50 times 2, but 50 minus 2 or plus 2 is not going to be 25, so that does not work. Then I have 25 times 4, but 25 and 4 will not give me 25. So I need to figure out which values this can be. Then I think about it and I said, okay, um, 10 times 10 also that does not work uh, let's see a hundred that gives me 25 if i if i do maybe 20 times 5 bingo i found it because look 20 times 5 is a hundred and 20 plus 5 is 25 now i'm going to rewrite this expression so 2x squared plus 20x plus 5x plus 50. Look what I just did. I, instead of writing 25x, I wrote 20x plus 5x. Then I'm going to go ahead and build an invisible wall between them. Let's go ahead and factor this size. What can you factor that uh, between 2x squared plus 20x? Well, I can take a 2x out. And then I'm going to have x plus 10. You can always check your answer by doing 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 10 is 20x. I can do the same thing here. I can go ahead and factor the 5 and I have x plus 10. I can check it again, 5x and then 10. Remember, the parentheses must be the same. If the two parentheses are not the same, you did something wrong. My final answer, you grab this 2x with this 5. So this is 2x plus 5. And the other factor is going to be x plus 10. These are a pain in the neck, but I know that um, if you really work on them and you practice them, they could be really easy. And that's it. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.